So let's take a look at the Hopscotch app. Um, I'm really passionate about coding and teaching our kids how to code at the moment. My year five and sixes are learning using um, the Mac app, um, Scratch. But this is a wonderful app here called Hopscotch and um, fantastic for introducing kids uh, the language of code. So I'm going to start a new project here and show you how easy it is. I'm going to select the gorilla as my um, main character here and press start. Now you can see there that it says when I press play. Well, I'm going to teach my or code my gorilla to move left and right when I tilt my iPad. So the first thing I need to do is press the drop down menu and I'm going to program my gorilla when I tilt the iPad right, I want him to move right. So I'm going to go over to my left, see where it says motion, top left hand corner, and I'm going to drag the move coding block over underneath that command. I'm going to change it to, let's say, 300, press enter, and now when I press play, when I tilt my iPad to the right, it will move a certain distance. Let's test that out. Press play, tilt my iPad, you can't see it, but he's actually moved. That's fantastic. So it's getting kids to realise that they can tell the iPad to do things and actually um, code and program things. So my next step is I need to start a new script because I've done the gorilla moving to the right 300, but I need to do when I tilt my iPad to the left, he's going to move 300. But here's the thing with code, we need to know our pluses and our minuses because when we're moving the other way, it will be minus 300. Now you, can't, you guys can't see me tilting the iPad, but uh, take my word for it, I am doing it. So when I press play now, when I tilt my iPad to the right, it will move 300. When I tilt my iPad to the left, it will go the other way the same distance. So let's test it out and see how we did. Press play, tilt my iPad to the right, fantastic, and I do it to the left, and it's moving to the left. Now, this is a real magic moment for kids when they when they learn for the first time that I can actually program a computer or a device or anything to do something, it really is a magic moment. And I would suggest you grab a camera and when you're actually introducing this concept to kids, take a few pictures of those first moments when kids are coding for the first time and they, have, they make their character actually do something instead of letting the device do it for them. Uh, it's a fantastic uh, skill to learn because Teaching a kid to code is teaching them to think, um, and that's where I think coding really establishes itself as something that we should be doing in schools. Paul Hamilton here, Apps by Paul Hamilton, signing off.